Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Sherman, um, uh, one of my constituents is one of the three people that are in uh, Iran that, uh, that are being held. He's, he's been sentenced to eight years in prison. Uh, the, the prison conditions there, as you know, are absolutely deplorable. Uh, he'd just been put in solitary confinement for some time, was released. Uh, his health is questionable. Um, first of all, let me say, I understand the, the frustration in dealing with this. It's very difficult to explain to people uh, back home in Idaho. He is a pastor there. His, his only crime is, uh, is preaching the Christian religion, and for that he's received eight years. Uh, in, in these awful conditions. Uh, I want to underscore for you uh, th that uh, people really want to see this brought to an end. Now, having said that, I understand because of the relationship between the two countries, it is almost impossible to deal with this, particularly when we're dealing through uh, back channels and through uh, third parties. But, but uh, on behalf of Idahoans, I want to communicate to you how incredibly important this is to us and uh, we want to enlist you, as, as I know you have done, to take, make every effort you possibly can to secure his freedom. Uh, Senator, we will absolutely do so. As you say, uh, Mr. Abedini was spearheading the construction of an orphanage in 2009 when he was detained and thrown into prison. Uh, and just as recently as March 22nd, Secretary Kerry issued a written statement expressing his concern over reports that Mr. Abedini had suffered physical and psychological abuse in prison, that Iran continues to refuse consular access by Swiss authorities, who is uh, the U.S. protecting power in Iran, and calling for his immediate release. Uh, the Swiss have been terrific. They have gone uh, back uh, constantly to ask for consular access because we do assess that when we keep asking, we at least put a spotlight on the treatment that is uh, being given to prisoners uh, and hopefully uh, lessen uh, the horrible situation under which they are held. But we will not stop uh, for Mr. Abedini, for Robert Levinson, uh, for Mr. Hekmati until they can be returned to their families. I appreciate that, and I agree completely that uh, by spotlighting this, uh, that does uh, a tremendous amount of good in the, uh, in the world court of public opinion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, just some one or two final.